Well, New South Wales Premier Chris Minns is visiting Moree in the state's northwest today as the town battles a youth crime wave. New South Wales political reporter Julia Bradley is there for us this morning. Um, Julia, what's the purpose of his visit? Well, Holly, the New South Wales Premier will today be joined by NRL heavyweights, including executives and South Sydney stars Latrell Mitchell and Cody Walker. They're in Moree in northwest New South Wales today to announce a new diversionary program for young people who are deemed to be at risk in Moree. The idea is to channel their energy into sport and away from crime as the town deals with a wave of youth crime issues. Now, New South Wales Premier Chris Minns has visited the town recently. He's back here for a second trip. Also alongside him, the New South Wales Police Commissioner and the New South Wales Police Minister. I'm joined now by the local mayor for Moree, Mark Johnson. Mark, what do you make of today's announcement to come? Look, it's great, Julia. It's just one of the many initiatives that the Premier's uh, instigated uh, to try and cope with uh, youth crime, not only in Moree, but also in regional New South Wales. Um, rugby league's a very big, import, important part of, of our town, and to have Latrell and Cody here, along with Peter Volanders, is just amazing. And, Mark, the New South Wales Premier recently announced new bail laws, which will make it easier for magistrates to keep repeat offenders aged 14 to 18 locked up. What do you think about that? Look, it's unfortunate that they had, come, had to come to that. Um, the Premier did say that he felt that it could lead to uh, increased incarceration. That's unfortunate. But we needed a circuit breaker. 63% uh, of the offences occurring in Moree are for people who are out on bail. So um, it's for 12 months, so we'll see how it goes. But, yeah, we, it needed a circuit breaker and the Premier's done that. What more support does Moree need? The Premier announced that a number of initiatives and a significant one for us is the bail accommodation. Right now, when um, uh, criminals are charged and processed, they're often returned to spaces which may not be safe or that don't keep them there, and mm -hmm. they find themselves back out on the street. So having that facility available for the courts and the police to be able to mm -hmm. direct um, offenders there is a great thing. Also, the six-monthly review of the agencies that are in town, mm -hmm. uh, seeking greater collaboration and transparency in that space, mm -hmm. because somehow we have to turn these kids around. They have mm -hmm. to wake up each day and be very positive about their life mm -hmm. and make a con contribution to our community, because we need them. Thanks for your time, Mark. Here's what other residents in Moree think about the youth crime issue. I think we've got a, a hardcore uh, youth problem here. Um, drugs are a lot behind it too, I believe. Moree not the only place that's got a problem. It's got to start in the home, then the schools. The education department's got to be revved up, I think. My car got stolen here not too long ago so, um, by kids, so there's plenty of youth crime around. So a complicated issue, today's announcement, just a small part of working towards addressing it.